hunting dummy. You're a pearly kid, aren't you? Yeah. I wonder if he's forgotten you're getting out today. Maybe. A long time since he framed me. Yeah, seven years. I bet you don't even find him. Oh, yeah? I'll find him, all right. And when you do? Guess. Right, dummy. Wouldn't you? No? Well, what would you do? Ah, <laughs> oh, forget it, kid. It ain't worth it. Why not shuffle a deck and give yourself a new deal? Say, you got a lot of nerve to be preaching to me like this. You forget. I happen to know why you've been living in this boarding house for so long. Yeah, but that was a long time ago. And I was nuts about the dame. Oh, sure. Young, promising baritone in love with mezzanine soprano. Didn't like the way the tenor kissed her on the entrance, so he shot him on his exit. Yeah, but that guy didn't have no future anyhow. Well, Blake framed me for the killing he done himself, and they set me up for it. So the minute I got this number, I've just lived for this day. So you're gonna walk right out, turn around, and walk right in again, huh? Maybe. Here, dummy, keep this. And see how he looks the next time you see it picked in the paper. Spike, old kid, here's some cigarettes for you. I'll be able to buy plenty when I get out. Thanks for the cigarette, Jerry. Okay. Hey, you. <laughs> I'll knock you for oh, a ride. Don't get sorry. He's only keeping him track. Yeah. Next, the screw. So that was you, Harris. What tickled you so much? Maybe it was the feathers in his downy mattress. Cut out that racket. You ain't heard the bell yet, have you? Ah, it was my fault, Kearney. You see, I'm getting out today, and I was just getting a little excited, that was all. Well, I can understand that. After seven years in Sir, especially since you had to spend the most of it, cooped up with a couple of carp like those two. Well, that's the last time I'll have to listen to that. I hope so. So long, Spike. So long, kid. So long, dummy. You two will be getting out yourself soon. I'll be seeing you. Oh, sure. Well, Harris, you're leaving us today. I guess you're not sorry. Nope. You're getting time off for good behavior. Now keep up the good work. Don't believe this stuff you hear about a man with a record not having a chance. It's up to the man whether he wants to make good or not. Nobody's going to bother you, so long as you behave yourself. Now watch your step, Harris. Here's your relief. 
And your money. Thank you, Warden. That's all. Good luck and goodbye. So long. You think Harris will go straight? No. He thinks a fellow by the name of Blake framed him. And it's been boiling in him for seven years. I'll bet he goes after Blake within 24 hours. <laughs> talking. Harris just got in on the 420. Okay. Where to tail him until he lights someplace. What's the big idea? Well, I'm taking a trip. Where are we going? We're not going. I'm taking this trip. Say, what's the stall? Listen, I gotta get away. Harris is out. He's in town. On the gang spot him getting off the rattle. So you're running because you're yellow. Why don't you stay and fight it out? Or has he got you framed? Listen, kid. I'm not taking any chances. You know, that guy's a stir bug now. And those guys all go a little nuts up in the big house. So I'm blowing. Say, you got any dough? You know I haven't any. You can't take those. They're mine. Yeah? Well, I gave them to you, and now I need them. You've got enough dough to get out of town. Listen, kid. I'm going a long way. And I'm taking everything I can lay my hands on. And you're never coming back? That's it. I suppose I can starve. Or get down in the gutter. Oh, anything can happen to me for all you care. Oh, you'll find some other sap to take care of you. You've got what it takes. Good evening, my friend. Good evening. Now, what can I do for you? Let me have a look at that automatic. How much is it? That's a good gun. For you, I'll make it $22.50. Well, that's plenty, but if you throw in a clip of shells, I'll take it. All right. But remember, you've got to sign the book. Oh, that's okay. Hey, what's the matter with you? Fuck dumb? 
I was just thinking what a sap I've been. I was straight when I met you. And I let a two-bit double-crosser make a tramp out of me. Ah, baloney. Circle 2433. That's right. Jim, I was nuts about you. And absolutely on the square. Well, I kissed your blues away for four years. And now you're walking out on me. Hey, what are you squawking about? The rent's paid till the end of the month. I can always imagine you able to rustle the groceries. You... Why, you little... Hello? Hello? Harris. That's who it was. Harris. Cyanide tears. I'm sorry to bother you, my friend, but the law is the law. Mr. Smith. Hey, uh... Thank you. Call again. Well, so long. I hope Harris gets you the minute you walk out of this joint. Well, Mr. Harris, you have been expected. But didn't anybody ever wise you up that they use doors in these joints? Who are you? Guy who collects the rent always called me Mrs. Blake. The sap. Where's Blake? Mr. Blake has beat it for parts unknown. The minute he heard you were in town, he breathed out. Oh, yeah? Well, that's a lot of baloney. Where is he? Listen, Harris, you can't scare me. I'm telling you the truth. Blake powder the minute he heard you were here. Who's that? Probably the bulls. They must have been watching you. No, wait a minute. You can't do that. Give me that gun. You know what they could do to you if they found you with this. Hey, wait a minute, will you? Take off your hat and sit down. Open that door. Come on, Harris. Pick him up. Risk him and see if he's got a gun. Nothing on him, Regan. Take a look around the apartment. See if you can find Blake. Say, Harris, what are you doing here? 
Why? He I... came to see me, Regan. You didn't know that we used to be sweethearts, did you? Oh, I see. Blake borrowed you while your own sweetheart was in jail, eh? Now listen here, you big flatfoot. You've got no right up here anyway. Now unless you've got a search warrant, get out. I don't need a warrant. You bought a gun tonight, Harris. Where is it? I bought a horse once. But I haven't got him here. Nobody else in the place, Regan. All right. Let me give you a tip, Harris. Watch your step. Well, you saved me from another stretch up the river. Why did you do it? Well, for one thing, we've got a great little idea in common. Getting even with Blake. Oh, he gave you a raw deal too, huh? Just about the same caliber that you got. He made you a jailbird, and he made me a... Oh, well, what's the difference? Ah, oh, forget it. I understand. What are you going to do now? Well, at the risk of getting a big laugh out of you, I'll tell you. I'm going to go straight. Say, listen. I'll make you a proposition. How about us both going straight? Getting jobs. With my jail record, the cops wouldn't give you a chance if you did get a good job. Sure they would. And anyway, it won't hurt you to try. What do you say? Do you really mean it? Sure I do. All right, it's a go. Shake. Say, you're all right. Am I? Well, I better be powdering. Nothing doing. Don't you know that Dix will be waiting right outside to grab you with this? That's right. Never thought of that. I'll take charge of it. So long. Well, I'll be seeing you after the depression. Sure you will. From now on, you're paroled to me. Okay. I'll report regularly. So long. Goodbye, Harris. Goodbye, Miss... Malone. Malone? Jerry. Molly. Coming in, buddy? Nope. I'm 23 cents short. Too bad. Brother, and how are you? Fine, thank you. That's good. There you are. Thank you. That's good. This is the first time you've been here, isn't it, my son? 
Yes. I guess it's the first time I've ever been this hungry. You're very welcome. Get yourself some coffee. Thank you. There you are, my boy. Good evening, brother. And how are you? Tastes pretty good, don't it? Well, I've eaten a lot worse. You and me both, brother. If you can stand the services afterwards, it ain't such a bad racket. <laughs> well, it sounds pretty good. Oh, boy. That, my friends, is why I choose my subject tonight. Love leaves me. Sometimes you may feel that the whole world is turned against you. Well, what if it is? God is still with you. Let him lead you. Hate leads us only to disaster. Death, we must forget injury, resentment against our fellow man, and turn to the ever-loving Father. If we would find peace, let us pray. Brothers, if any of you have no place to go, you're welcome to stay. Our beds are free. Brother Jacob, good night. Good night, 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 My boy. Well, I guess I wasn't very interesting, my son. No, that wasn't it. You see, I've been sleeping standing up for the last three nights, and well, I'm tired, that's all. Sit down, my boy. Sit down. I want to talk to you. Where are you going now? Oh, I'm going to look for some lumber yard. The cops keep chasing out of the parks all the time. Why won't you stay with her? You're welcome to a bed, and it'll be clean. Oh, you got free beds here, too, huh? Certainly. You're welcome to anything we got here. Just as I'm quite sure that you would give me anything that you had in your power to give me. Me give you anything? <laughs> Gee, that's a laugh. No, my boy, it isn't. You got a lot to give. Strong shoulders, willing hands. Say, are you offering me a job? No, my boy, N not a job. I'm offering you the chance to help me, and you can have a home here until you find something else you want to do. But you don't even know me. You don't even know who I am. I see a lot, my son. Some of us can look down into a heart. You're different from the rest that flow in and out of my little place. Ah, but I might be a crook. Just fresh out of jail. I am not interested in what you have been. I'm only interested in what you're going to be. I think it's time you had the rest of that fine sleep you were enjoying when I interrupted it. Come, my boy. Come with me. Ten miles. 
You are my boy. Thank you. Good night and God bless you. Good night and well, good night, sir. Hello, Jerry. Hello, Molly. How's the wrong number business today? Not so hot. How's your job? Oh, plenty hot. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I got a surprise for you. Yeah? What is it? I invited Brother Jacobs up to the house tonight for dinner, and I'm going to dish out a swell feed. Oh, gee, that's swell. No, I found out today is one of those Jewish holidays where you're supposed to have lots of fun and eat. Oh, sure, I heard about it. You yum kip it ring. <laughs> no, not that stuff. But anyway, we got to hurry. Got to get a lot of groceries. Groceries? Mm-hmm. More coffee, Jerry. Oh, thank you, Molly. Well, Molly, it sure was a good feed. You know, you'd make somebody a swell wife. You're not proposing, are you, Jerry? Well, use your own judgment. He couldn't do any better. Never in my life have I eaten such strudels since I left my dear mother in the old country. If I only could give my poor boys a meal like this. Say, that reminds me. We better hustle on down the mission. The gang will be collecting. Can I help you with the dishes, Molly? No, never mind. I'll do them myself. You run along and I'll meet you later down at the mission. All right. Thank you, my boy. I couldn't get along without you. <laughs> oh, you're full of baloney. And strudel, too. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Molly. We'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye, Molly. Goodbye, Brother Hi, Mr. Thompson. Hello. Hello, boss. Hello. Business bad, eh? Yeah. 
Well, it ain't been no good since that cluck opened up that friendship mission down the street. <laughs> These guys think they're the Lord's anointed or something. Helping the poor. I suppose it never occurred to them that they're killing business for a guy that's trying to make a living. Well, you can't blame the man. They can get fed and better down for nothing. They tell me he runs a pretty good joint. Yeah. Well, I ain't got no rich suckers contributing to me. Hey, 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 you. What? Mm -hmm. Got a bed? No, I'm broke. Well, come on, then, outside. Come on. I ain't running no free joint here. You know we ain't got no dough. So that's what you were doing. You told me you were calling on your grandmother. Give me that. All right, come on. Hi, Bill. House chances for a couple of flops. Sure, got any dough? Nothing doing. I'll sell it to you cheap. I ain't receiving stolen goods. But this ain't stolen goods. He got it from his grandmother. Nothing doing. Hey, wait a minute. Come here. I'll give you 20 bucks for it. But you got to deliver it to a friend of mine. Yeah. Now, this guy that runs the friendship mission down the street, uh, Brother Jacobs, he calls himself. Take that down and plant it on him. Huh? Huh. I just want to give him a surprise. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. When you get through with that, come back here and I'll give you the 20 bucks. Okay. Hello, police headquarters. Let me talk to Sergeant Fagan, will you? Yeah. Hello, Jim. Hey, this is Thompson. So I got a hot tip for you. You know this guy, Jacob, that runs this friendship mission? Well, he's really a fence. Yeah, well, wait till I tell you. A couple of guys come in here a little while ago and wanted to sell me some hot jewelry, see? Of course, I turned them down. So they said they was going down and sell it to Jacob. If they get right down there, I think you'll find it. Excuse me, are you Brother Jacobs? Yes. Well, we've been tramping the streets all day looking for work, and a pal of ours told us you wouldn't mind if we stuck around. You're very welcome to stay. A dummy here ain't feeling so good either. You're a poor boy. He ain't et very regular lately. No? No. Too bad you didn't get here in time for supper. But I'm going to get you something. Just wait here. I guess we'll have to eat his chow now so we don't think we're phony. My boy will bring you something in, in just a minute. Thanks.
Well, here you are, men. Get it where it's hot. Bye. Jerry. Dummy. What are you doing here? Gee, I'd rather see you fellas. What are you doing here, anyway? We're down here on a little business. Yeah? Yeah. What? The guy that runs the flop house up the street is paying us to plant some hot stuff on the old guy that runs this joint. Say, you can't do that. Why, this old guy's the best fellow that ever lived. He spent half his life helping a fellow just like us. Why, it'd be worse than murder. Come on now, dummy. You get that stuff off the old man. But, Jerry... Say, I'm not kidding. Everybody hold it right where you are. All right, line up against the wall and push him. Come on, line up. Get him over. What is the trouble? Well, I got a tip. There's some stolen goods on the premises. I'm sure there must be a mistake. Well, that's for me to find out. But we've got to search everybody in the place. I'm sure you won't find anything here. All right, then I'll start with you first. Thank you, my boy. Go right ahead. Say, you can't do this. Can't you see by looking at him that he never did anything crooked in his life? Go ahead and search the rest of us, but leave him alone. I'm sorry, bud, but I'm not taking orders off of you. That's all right. He'll soon find out his mistake. Well, there's nothing on you. Well, you're next. All right. You're next. All right. Now you. He's dumb. Yeah, I can see that. Can't find a thing in the place. All right, let's go. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry, Brother Jacob. Somebody must have given us a bum tip. That's perfectly all right. Mistakes will happen. Well, good night. <clears throat> good night, boys. Good night. Not a very nice welcome for our new friends, huh? Oh, they're not so new. Hmm? I knew him a long while ago. Really? Well, we used to be in... We used to be roommates together. Say, don't you think we can get him a job around here? We sort of keep the boys out of trouble. <laughs> That'll be fine. If they will only stay. Oh, don't worry. They'll stay all right. <laughs> hey, dummy. What'd you do with that stuff? The cops? Say, hey, if you guys are going to eat here, you'll have to work first. Work? Yeah, you heard me. Now take off your hat, too. You're in a mission. Come on. They'll stay. Fine. Dummy, here's your job. Pass out these hymn books. Come on, Spike. Ah, oh, kid, I ain't played one of these things since I... well, for a long time. Well, here's a good chance for you to get right back in practice. Come on. <laughs> The 
mission. You know, something... He'll be all right as long as he keeps playing. That was wonderful. Nobody could ever play it before. Now we can have some fine singing. <laughs> will you play this? Sure, I will. We open the services by singing him number 19, boy. <laughs> Hello, Tom. Hey, wait a minute. You ain't getting high head, are you? Let me go. What are you going to forget all your old friends? I'm trying to forget all of that. Oh, don't be like Now, that, listen, boy. I've hey, got enough of you. What's the matter, Molly? Nothing, Jerry. Come on in. Hey, you. What are you buttoning in here for? Say, you lay off on Molly, do you hear? Oh, yeah? Come on, Molly. Let's go inside. Hello, Molly. I'm glad you came. At last, I have found somebody who can play the organ. Oh, that's fine. I'll bet you haven't counted that laundry. With that music, I forgot all about it. It's in my room. Well, I'll take care of it then. Thank you. Say, Molly, I want you to meet a friend of mine. Spike, Miss Malone. How do you do? I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, the dummy. How do you do? Say, Molly, can I help you count the laundry? No, never mind, Jerry. You stay here and I'll take care of it myself. So that's the reason. Oh, quit your kidding. She's the swellest girl I ever met in my whole life. Oh, sure. Come on now. You're going to listen to some preaching. And you need it. Boys, tonight I want to talk to you about the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Good evening, brother. Good evening, brother. Good evening. Good evening, brother. That's your hospital. Good evening, brother. Good evening. Good evening, brother. 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 You're holding up the line, brother. Go right ahead and sit down. Good evening, brother. Good evening. Good evening, brother. Good evening, brother. What's the matter, Spike? He's back. Blake. Blake? Here? He just came in on the bread line. Oh. Sit down. All 
I've waited a long time for this place. Well, I don't blame you for being sore, Harris. But I couldn't help it. I was in a jam. So you framed me. Branded me as a criminal. They took away my name and gave me a number. Well, I took it off life. Gee, you had a good record. You never served seven years in the big house, did you? No. Well, I did, see? I did. I've suffered plenty. Yeah? Well, you're not through yet. Jerry, I'm gonna talk to you. Molly. Say, wait a minute. You're gonna stay right here and listen to the services. You want to see me, Thompson? Oh, yeah. Sit down, Pete. I want to talk to you. Pete? How'd you like to make yourself a little piece of change? Well, I can use some. Mm, you know this mission down the street? You mean Brother Jacob's place? Yeah. He's been cutting in on my business lately. And I was just thinking that if anything should happen to the place... I got you. I figured you would. You've been in that building, haven't you? Yeah, I've been in it. There's a cellar on it, ain't there? Yeah. All right, now listen to me. In conclusion, my friends, I want to say something to you. I read in the papers of so much trouble. Men disregarding the law, taking matters into their own hands. You should not raise your hand against your brother. And he who sets himself up to judge his fellow men takes unto himself everlasting punishment. My children, do not let hatred be your undoing. Remember the teachings of your religion. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. Let us pray. <laughs> Now, my friends, those of you who have no place to go are welcome to stay. Our beds are free. Good night to you. Good night to you. Jerry, are you going to take me home? All right, Molly. Where are you going, Blake? I'm going to find myself a place to sleep. You can sleep here. What are you going to do, Harris? I don't know. Snap out of it, Jerry. You haven't spoken six words to me since we left the mission. Oh, I'm sorry, Molly, but I was just thinking that's all. Yeah, I know. About Blake? Yeah. Oh, he's not worth it. Forget him. It's not easy to forget after getting seven years to think it over. But things are different now, Jerry. You got your job. 
And everything's running so smoothly. Yeah, I know. Jerry, where are you going? I'm going to see Blake. Promise me you won't do anything you'll be sorry for. No, Molly. I can't. Chief, everything all set? It'll work all right. Say, you better give me some dough so I can get out of town till this blows over. All right. I just wanted to let you know it was me. a little, that's all. How's that one? He's dead. I think his back's broken. Hey, Ed, bring on the stretcher. Lucky thing for you, buddy. Falling on him probably saved your life. Come on, let's go look around a bit. Doctor? He'll live only a little while. Brother Jacob. My boy. Spike, will you? Yes, Brother Jacob. I understand.
My dear friends, we are gathered here tonight to unite in the holy bonds of matrimony these two young people. <laughs> Molly, do you take Gerald for your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Gerald, do you take Molly to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. The ring. The ring. Oh. The ring. Oh. The ring. 